It's disappointing again not to come away with a win, uh, but uh, if I'm being honest, it's again we, we've we've had patches throughout every game that we've played so far, and I thought that this one was a little better. And again, in this environment and where they're at, and I think uh, again we we do some things at the right time, and we have some brain freezes at the time. But I thought our effort and our attention to go and get it done in the second half was so much greater than where it's been. And I thought our third quarter starts, which was hurting us, uh, the O-boards killed us. I think we did a great job. We said we want to keep them to six threes or under. You know, they didn't have a three in the first half. Uh, they got to the free throw line. They couldn't play with a little more verticality. would have been fine, but it didn't happen. Um, and again, our turnover count, we had 10 in the first half. We've been averaging 12. To, and we had we finished the game with, with 12 again. And so if you keep them around that area, I think clean up the rebound, uh, we, only, we only gave up 10 0 boards, which was normally been 22, 23. Again, there's little, there's little wins, but it's not enough to get us the W right now. But um, again, we, yeah, it, was, it was a better effort in the second half. Well, it can, it can always feel that way. And again, it's, it gets magnified for where we're at and the stuff we've gone through from the preseason on. But it's also keeping it in perspective of where we're at and what we're getting better at. And I know that the players feel the weight. You know, it's, you've got to stay the course. Like, when you've, you've been in the game and you've played long enough, you understand that, yeah, there's an urgency to win and there's an urgency to play well. You give you get so many easy shots, and you know the ball goes in the bucket. Sometimes we had some point blank shots that miss. You know, like you got some wide open looks that we miss. We had some that we didn't even try to take, and it's like you, you got to take shots. So this, you, everyone wants to play and be on the stage and be in this light. So, you know, just encouraging everyone to one be who they are instead of going into their shell, and again be the assertive. I think when you when you be assertive in this game, a lot of good things come. Well, I think we've, we've done the right thing. We've missed some shots a couple times, uh, but it also shouldn't be at the back end, right? So you're saying at the back end, but that's early in the game where we didn't get it done right, which made it a tough sell at the back end of the game. And when you miss that, it feels bigger than it should be at that point in time, but it's only a bucket. And I think just uh, it's staying the, score, uh, staying the course, staying mentally uh, engaged in what we're trying to get accomplished each quarter. I think keeping teams under, you know, 22 a quarter. Again, they're 82 points. We ain't, you know, we need to, we need to get over we need to get over 80 right now. It would be nice to, to see that 88 100 points, huh? I'll be I'll be nice. Next game Sunday. Next yeah. game, yeah. There you go. Start off you start right like what did you think was the issue at the start of the game? Um probably just finding our consistency in in, you know, getting open shots, getting really good looks. You know, every team obviously wants to get guys going. You know, they focus on one individual or, you know, run certain sets to try and get themselves into games. And um, sometimes we're a little bit, we get caught in, I don't want to say we're erratic, but, you know, we just, we maybe lose focus in where we're trying to get our shots from. Um, but as CJ said, it's, it's usually at the start. As we get going onto the games and we, and we start to fight back, we do find that. We saw that in the second half tonight. Like, we had some patches where we were really, really good. Ball's popping, found the short roll. We get great looks at the rim, kick out three. So, um, you know, it's on us as, as players to really get organized, find our huddles, and, and get better starts to games. I mean, other than the Brisbane one, which was great, um, you know, the other two were a little bit shakier. Process track work. If I want to stick to the process, is it easier to stick to the process tomorrow? Is it hard when you know that you no, I don't think anyone's going to be... Um, I mean, obviously, as, as CJ said, we're disappointed. You know, we want the result uh, more than anybody. But at the same time, we have seen some improvements. You know, it's not about moral victories, but I do feel like we are seeing some improvements on both ends of the floor. Um, and if you want to use that word, process, uh, you know, we're, we are making progress. So, um, yeah, I, I think we're all going to be positive walking out of here and, and know that we did get a little bit better from last weekend. And um, that, you know, we feel like we're writing games to win. We just, we just got to make plays at the end and get off to better starts. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't Sal. Like Sal made those shots. Clearly, if you're, if you're a betting man, you'd rotate and shift over and take that shot away. You know that he's a catch and shoot guy, and that's what he does well. And he puts it on the deck, and he's athletic at the rim. So, 
um, yeah, it wasn't to give him the shots, but he ended up getting those shots. And when Bryce has the ball, clearly everyone's focused on Bryce. We all know that here. Mitch, similar to what CJ touched on, I think at halftime you pretty much done everything that you hoped you wouldn't do. You had the 10 turnovers, I think you sent it into the free throw line 16 times. But to come out and play so well in the second half and, and to play like you've been trying to play, how much heart do you take out of what you did after halftime? Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, if we're assessing two halves, you know, the first half's a cross and the second half's a tick. Um, you know, we, we have done well at that, you know, coming back together as a group and trusting what we're trying to do, getting back to, you know, executing on both ends, as I said before. So, um, you know, again, there's no moral victories. You know, we're 0-3, we haven't got a win yet and, and we desperately want one. But I think there is some progress there. We've, we've got a reason to hold our head high and walk into Sunday and, and throw everything at Sydney on the road. Big occasion you now on Sunday, I mean celebrating their championship, they're raising their banner, there'll be 16,000 people there. Um, it's, it's a big, I guess, hurdle for you to overcome, but gee, it's a great chance for you to, to get a, a win that would be a, a statement win at the same time. Yeah, I think all players know that the only thing you want to do after a loss is play again. You know, whether you had a good game, a bad game, you know, you lose, you just want to get back on the floor and rectify that. So, um, you know, and, and a consecutive loss just builds that up. So, you know, we get to play again in two days. That's exciting for us. And there's going to be a lot of energy in the gym. Um, again, excited to play in another game. It doesn't matter where that was going to be. Um, them doing their banner, it's got nothing to do with, with us. It's about our progress and us moving forward. And again, hopefully that we, again, put that second half for two halves. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll do it. Thank you. Oh, thank Thanks, you. guys.